Welcome back to our special episode from Inside the Neptune Theater. We have been having a lot of fun during the show. We're still cracking up, and so our panel for Hot Topics is back, except that Susie is here instead of Rebecca this time. Hello. Welcome, Cheers. everybody. Yeah, Everyone has do. their corn now, too. Okay, we have to talk about the Barbie mania, because we had teased oh, yes. that. Everyone is talking about it. It is going to be a huge film this summer, and it's kind of getting weird. It's not just like people are wearing pink. Now AI has actually come up with BuzzFeed, used AI, right. to come up with houses from different yeah. states in the country that would be like a Barbie dream house. Right. It's kind of amazing. Okay, so there's a four-story apartment building in New York. Yeah. That's pretty fancy. It's pretty good. I like yeah. it. That was one of my favorites, actually. actually. Same. Uh, the Beach Cottage in Massachusetts. Yeah. I was mm -hmm. kind of into that one, too. Because yeah. you're picturing, the, of course, if it's Barbie, then it's just plastic waves. Right. So it's not right. quite yeah. the beach. Yeah. But so maybe it's, it's not a... quite as cold. Right. Yeah. That's, that's true, too. <laughs> um, a Victorian house in Missouri. Which is, yeah. I like that one. Uh, yeah. You yeah. like that one a lot too, I right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I like Got that, that one. southern charm. Yep. Okay, yeah. but Super now let's vibe. talk Washington. Okay, so in Washington, it is an adorable craftsman that's yeah. bookended by pine trees. You didn't love it so much. I didn't love it so much, but I want to get your guys' opinions well, on this Well, it's one. like a $5 million craftsman. There is that. Yeah. Right. Just yeah. right. Just right. point that out. Which is fair. <laughs> I just didn't feel, I'm sorry, you go. No, I was just going to say, I think when you say Washington, that's such a broad general term because right. there's so many parts of Washington. Could it be a house in eastern Washington? Maybe. Mm. Could it be a house in Seattle? Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe Puyallup or Snohomish out where I live. But yeah. 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 But to Linda's point, yeah. if it is a house in Seattle, it's a $5 yeah. million. It was quite a craftsman. Yeah. It's yeah. quite it a craftsman. Craft yeah. I liked yeah. it a lot. Did I thought, you? Yeah, I thought it was more subtle maybe than it needed to be. That's but, my problem. Yeah. Look, Barbie is one thing always, and that is not, not subtle. subtle. Right? Yes. And so if you're, yes. you're thinking, the Barbie dream house is supposed yeah. to be very pink, very over the top, and it just felt a little bit like, oh, I can yeah. see someone doing that, maybe. So you wanted more pink. I, well, I also like okay. that the background on the Seattle one was black versus like all of the other ones was like beautiful, <laughs> blue sky, right. and it was like, yeah, we're Seattle. <laughs> or it, it might was, have been stereotyped a little bit. Yeah, it was, like, it was yeah. like a Barbie had settled yeah. down and got married and had a couple <laughs> right? pink tops. You know what I'm saying? Like, we want to trick or treat it. million dollars on the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. we want to trick or treat at this house yeah. instead of go see I Barbie. I used to be a rock yeah. So Barbie is opening the same weekend as Oppenheimer, which is the new Christopher Nolan film, highly anticipated. Usually doesn't happen. Like usually movies that are going to be huge kind of try to space out. Right. Would you go see both in the same weekend? Would you do like a double feature? What do you think of well, this? Well, could I put my feet up on the seats in front of me? We have discussed this. That I don't is know. an assault. I might be guilty of that sometimes. Uh, uh, so on the seat. Wiley. In a recliner, is it okay sometimes to maybe slip off your shoe if you're in the nope. recliner? Okay. Nope. Like nope. under the blanket? What if you're under the blanket? Nope. Still nope. not okay. What if you bring your own slippers? Okay, Oppenheimer or Barbie? I <laughs> think sorry. we need to get back on track, crew. Totally fine. I'm eating yours. <laughs> sorry. I, I don't know if I would go. Oppenheimer's uh, almost kissing three hours is what they say. Yes. Oh. That's a little long for a movie. So yeah. I'm not, and I'm not sure. I think Oppenheimer's going to be a lot to take in. We're yes. About bombs. Yes. <laughs> and, yes. And, and, and the results. And so I think, I don't know if I could go see Barbie after that, I okay. think the like levity and the seriousness yeah. might yeah. be just a little bit right. too much right. to go back yeah. to back. Yeah. Right. I think people go to movies for a couple of different reasons, and yeah. I think one of them is to escape reality. Yeah. Mm. And I think Barbie would probably be the escape yeah. reality movie you yeah. go see to have fun, relax, kick back. And I think Oppenheimer, for people who want to be, you know, interested in the history of how things happened and the backstory yeah. and danger. Oh, look, there you I'm go. I'm just going to snatch my popcorn. I only get, we're just, I got we're sharing. Yeah, yeah, sharing. Sharing is caring. Did you have a feeling on this? Are you going to see Barbie? You know Barbie? Uh, I'll definitely see Barbie. Okay. And I do like to go to the theaters where you get the blankies mm -hmm. and you get the wine Slip and you get the, the yummy things. And You yes, guys can but, go together like, and Terry and I will go together and no. behave like adults. Hygienic. Well, no, like, hygienic. Wow. I'll, just, hygienic. I'll bring like those toms that are slippers yeah. so it'll okay. feel like I'm yeah. putting on. But you know, I actually have a question. for it's. I'm going to tee this up to you first, Kim. Okay. Oh. On the note of blockbuster movies, yeah. you have interviewed so many celebrities throughout <laughs> your storied career. Yeah. So my question for you is, do you have a celebrity hall pass? <laughs> I, d I wouldn't say I have an actual hall pass, but my husband is very aware of who I think is cute. And by the way, it's usually not who people think. So like Ryan Gosling in Barbie, got to interview him. He's lovely. He's yeah. very funny. 
not my thing. Do it you okay. know who is? Who? Killian Murphy from Oppenheimer. Oh. I find him yes. so, so yes. cute. Who are your hall passes? We all oh. have one. No wonder, no wonder, like, you're, like, really yeah. pushing Oppenheimer. You're like, I'm going to yeah. see it. I will be yeah. seeing He's it. I'm definitely really going to be there. Yeah. yeah. Like, do you, uh, so do I have an all-time hall pass, okay. and it's Holly Berry. And that's been uh, mine since oh, I was, like, yeah. 12 years old. So I feel like we're all on that same yeah. page. Yeah. She's, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But I do have to say, the star of Barbie, Margot Robbie, not bad. She's she, sneaking in there a little bit. She is bit. stunning. And she's really nice, too. So she, she kind of hits on two levels. She has Which, like, Australian I need that. Yeah, yes. I need, like, the kindness yeah, as well know. as the, yeah. So I think that's, like, those are perfect. Like, yeah. I don't, I, I can't talk You're that. going with that? Okay. However. <laughs> uh oh. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just going to take this opportunity to shoot my yeah. shot we are right ready. now. Shoot it. I'm sure they're Jason watching. Jason Sudeikis. Oh. If you're watching this. Ted Lasso is my absolute jam, and okay. I understand I fully am not conflating Ted Lasso and Jason Sudeikis. I know you're different people. I 100% did not stock the swimming pool where your children take swimming lessons <laughs> last week in Brooklyn. Did. I so didn't wow. do that. I don't know your um, your your kid's swimming coach. Oh my goodness. Um, We're learning but so yes, much. This yeah, is the most so revealing awesome. episode of More than I wanted ever. to know. Yeah. yeah, so Jason Sudeikis, like, hands down, bar none. Yeah. Honestly, truly, authentically, though, for the joy and the conscientiousness that he brings to humanity yes. and the mental mm -hmm health awareness and the just acceptance and love of all people yeah just yeah hits me right there yep that's awesome way to make it altruistic <laughs> i'm going with chris pine as a celebrity mm. crush but also in the not usual category rufus sewell from the diplomat i i, know. I just went who i know rufus. from the diplomat I, I, okay, okay. Look him up. You know what? Yeah. I, you know, I bet, I bet just like, in love with him, and I now I am too because I looked at him. There you go. Okay, really quickly before we go, we've got to talk popcorn again. Favorite topping for a popcorn? Mine is this hot butter. Hot butter, and I'm good. This is yeah. yours, obviously, the chocolate one. Classic. Thank you. Yes, Classic. He's been holding it like a nice gentleman. Mine is one single green M&M &M and one single perfect kernel. Oh, Ooh. why are we not like that? Surprised. <laughs> surprised at all. It's so sad. And I'm just straight butter and salt. Yep. All right. Classic. The more you know. Thank you so much, you guys. This yeah. was so fun. And thank you so much for watching this special episode of New Day from the beautiful Neptune Theater. And of course, you can always visit us online. We have lots more content there. And we'd love to hear from you. So send us an email.